Well, a rally outside the Hennepin County Government Center today to oppose the county attorney's method of offering plea deals to some juveniles who have committed murder. Our Karen Scullin joining us live from Minneapolis with more on what they had to say. Karen? Several families at the rally today spoke of not only the pain of losing a loved one, but then they say they were re-traumatized when the county attorney's office offered plea deals to the killers that gave them little to no time behind bars. Now speaking today was Zaria McKeever's family when the juvenile who killed her was about to get probation as part of a Moriarty plea deal. A.G. Ellison took the case. It's still working its way through the courts. Steve Markey's family was also there. He was killed in June of 2019. One of the offenders in that case is being offered probation. And Antonio Moore's family says they found out two hours ahead of time his killer would get just 48 months as part of a plea deal. All of the families feel Mary Moriarty is more concerned with the suspects rather than the victims. I typically don't do rallies, but I don't do losing my family members either. Not to foolishness. She's doing this under the auspices of eliminating mass incarceration. However, all of us will now be inhabiting the open air prison. Now, in reaction to the rally today, the county attorney's office sent this statement. Our goal is to protect and improve community safety by looking at the unique circumstances of each case and doing everything we can to prevent something similar from happening again by holding people accountable in a meaningful way. Sometimes that means a long prison sentence, and in some cases, other tools give us a much better chance of protecting public safety. Now, those families today say statements like that uh, offer little comfort to them, and they feel very forgotten in the process. We're live in Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.